Hey creators, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new 3D iPhone templates pack from FCPX Full Access inside Final Cut Pro. Now you don't need any complicated skills, this is all just drag and drop, but I'm going to walk you through taking a screen recording from your iPhone and placing it perfectly into a fully animated 3D iPhone 16. You can use the built-in pre-animated templates that look amazing right out of the box, or you can even create your own custom 3D movements for next level results. I'll leave the link in the description for this pack so you guys can check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. So once you've installed 3D iPhone templates in the Generators folder, you're going to come up here to the right hand side and click these six boxes. On the left hand side, just scroll down to the Generators section and here you can see full access iPhone templates. And this is your plugin pack. I'll just quickly show you what we've got in this pack so you can start exploring. We have three categories, 3D space, animated and custom control. So with the 3D space templates, we have a selection of amazing 3D movements. The thing that sets us apart from the animated category is we have these orbs floating in the background, which really gives a sense of 3D depth to the template. Of course, all of this is completely customizable. We can come in and we can change all the colors of the lights. Coming over to the animated category, we have eight different templates here and these all explore the phone screen in a really clean, dynamic way with drop shadows that are falling onto a colored surface behind it. As you can see, this is an amazing way to show off something like a website or an app. And of course, everything is fully customizable within the template. Finally, if we come down to custom control, this is a template without any pre-animated 3D movement. All of these templates work with 16 by nine footage or nine by 16 vertical footage. I'll just quickly show you how to drop some normal footage into these templates. So here I've got number four from the animated category. I'm gonna click on the template, come over here and click the three slider icons, which shows the inspector. If I scroll down just a little bit, you can see I've got the drop zone. I click on the drop zone and I come over to the left hand side and I click the clapperboard icon, which brings me to our library. Inside the library, I've got a couple of nice little clips here. I have some good vertical examples. So if I click on this one here and I click apply clip, this is going to apply it seamlessly into the template. And you can see if we just play straight away, we have this flamingo now inside the template. Equally, if I wanted to use widescreen footage, I can come over here, I can delete that footage and I'm going to select a new clip and I've got this video of a surfer here. So I'm going to add this and you can see straight away it drops it in in its native 16 by 9 ratio. And that still looks cool, but I think we can make this full screen. So I'm going to come over here to the right hand side and I'll drag the scale right up. So it fills the screen on both edges. And then I'm going to use the X pan slider here just to move the image across so that we have the surfer in the middle of the screen. So you can see that works absolutely perfectly. And that's a really simple way. Just to add a little bit of footage into a screen. So maybe you want to see something in a more dynamic way. But I think where this plugin really, really shines is in showing off a web page that's captured on your phone. This allows you to show off things that are made for the phone in their native format and it just looks so good. I'm sure most of you know that you can do a simple iPhone screen recording and that looks good but it has a couple of little caveats and so I'm going to show you what that looks like if you just simply record from your iPhone screen and drop in the footage here. So we have the issue here of the iPhone screen recording has a recording button on it that tells you the screen is being recorded. Now in all of the templates we've added this feature which is to remove the dynamic island so if you wanted to remove the dynamic island from the template you easily could but I still think this really clutters it up and looks kind of messy. So there is a really easy way that we can fix this and we can actually get much higher resolution footage as well. So in order to get the iPhone screen recording without this recording bar at the top, you're going to need to plug your phone into your computer. Next, open QuickTime Player, click File and go to New Movie Recording. Next, you're going to need to click on the arrow next to the record button and choose your iPhone as the camera and microphone. You can also scroll down a little further and you can choose maximum quality. Simply press record and QuickTime is going to start recording that screen. Next, you just save it to your computer and drag it straight into Final Cut Pro and it's going to go straight into this template. So I'm going to add my screen recording to this template that I've got here, this really lovely 3D one. I'm going to click the drop zone. I'm going to come over, I'm going to select my screen recording and I'm going to press apply. This is going to drop it straight in and it's going to look absolutely amazing straight out of the box. Now, if there's some things we don't like about this, we can of course come into the plugin and we can change the things we want. I can scroll down, I can turn off the dynamic island if I feel like it, but I'm gonna leave it there. I can change the colors of the lights to anything I like. Maybe I might go for a white to kind of match the background that we have in our template. I can change how much I want those to be blurred. They can be not blurred at all. 
but I think a bit of blur looks really good. And I can also change the 3D light position. You'll notice that the lights react to the 3D model in a 3D way. So when the phone moves, the screen reflects the light as if it was somewhere in the room. This is really cool because it allows you to put the light wherever you like. It's worth noting that we've already put the 3D lights in a way that works really well for the template, but if you wanted something different, then you can just come down here and you can change the X rotation. You can see how it's moving it along somewhere along the screen and the Y rotation. These are the most important ones. And we can also change the intensity so that they're brighter or dimmer. And of course we can change the color too. But I think white is gonna give you a really clean and nice look. If we come into our animated template as well, you can also see how if I change the light position, it changes the shadow position. So you can see that reflection moving alongside the edge of the screen and the shadow being affected by it too. So let's say for some reason, out of these 18 templates, there isn't something here that works for your needs. In that case, we're going to use custom control. So I'm gonna press Q to drop that on my timeline. And here we are, we have a template that isn't animated in any way. It does have the build in and build out. So I'm simply gonna come up here to the top and I'm gonna uncheck those, build in, build out and now we don't have any transition in, we just have a blank canvas to work with. If I scroll down and I come to camera control, you can see I have X, Y and Z rotation, as well as scale and opacity. If I tweak these, you can see that I have full control over the template. So we can look all the way around the template. It's worth pointing out that if you do go a full 180 on the template, then instead of seeing the back of the phone, you will see a flip of your image. So what I would do is I would keep things to below 95, degrees and this is going to have a really really cool 3d effect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick my starting position that i think is going to be nice i think it would be good if we had maybe we want to show off something a bit tighter like that so i'm going to come to this start i'm going to come to the first frame of my clip i'm going to check the keyframe element on everything in the camera control section next i'm going to come down to 3d light and i'm going to keyframe the x and y rotation as well so I might want to play with this and find somewhere where I like the light, how it starts. I think maybe there looks really good because you can see the little reflection on the edge of the phone, but I also want to see some drop shadow. Now we're going to come to the end of the template and I'm going to choose where I want this to end up. So I'm going to come back up to camera control and I'm going to move the screen around until I'm happy with what it looks like. And I'm going to come back down to the 3D light and I'm going to make sure that the light is on our screen at all times. That looks really good. So now if we play that, we can see what our custom movements did to the iPhone. That looks really cool. I might just want to change my shadows a bit so I can scroll even further down and in the shadows section here, I can either turn them off or I can turn them on. I can change the opacity and I can also change the softness. The slider is limited to 20, which gives you this hard edge if you want to come any higher. Then I have a secret trick for you. Simply click on the number and you drag it up that's going to allow you to go all the way to 500 and get this really smooth edge on the shadow. Well that's all for now, I want to keep this short and sweet but this is a really really powerful plugin for Final Cut Pro that allows you to put your own custom footage inside an iPhone template without any programming knowledge, without having to go into After Effects. This is super powerful and this is unlocking a big ability in Final Cut Pro. Other templates on the market that allow you to do this thing are ranging around $100, but we include this pack in our ultimate bundle, which is $99 for every single plugin we make for Final Cut Pro, which is hundreds of packs. It's unmatched value and I really, really recommend that you guys check it out. Okay guys, that's all for now. Stay creative and we'll see you in the next video.